Hey, we're about to start the show, and you know the drill. If you've been here before and you have something important to share, please add a capital letter Q to your comment. And if you are watching live for the first time, please let us know by writing the word new, and we'll give you a nice little welcome. Enjoy the broadcast. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook. How is everyone doing today? I hope that the increased warm weather is not getting to you yet because the fun is just beginning. Although I will say, last night I went to sleep and um, in my alarm clock has the, has it indicates the temperature in my bedroom. And last night we hit 29 degrees Celsius, which is very, very high. Usually in the summer months, it can go up to 31 or 32, but 29 last night, I was like, oh my goodness, here we go again. But you know, it is what it is. Either you embrace it or you embrace it. So all I can say about that is wherever you are, if you are here in Puerto Vallarta or you are elsewhere, my wish is that you are wherever you are supposed to be. Oh, my goodness. And Betsy is going to go see Hedwig tonight. If you meet um, the the main actor, uh, if you meet Jordan, please say hi. Um, I know that Logan is going to be there with, with our mutual friend, Julie. So connect, connect. That's what it's all about. And speaking of connections, let's connect with some news that I have today. Of course, we're getting close to um, our elections. So sooner or later, or rather sooner than later, the newspapers will need new things to write about. And of course, hurricane season began yesterday officially. So now we can expect to see an increase in not only weather, but weather related headlines. For example, not that the hurricane season has officially begun. Some folks out there are wondering well, when will it actually begin to rain in Banderas Bay? Well, if you need a reminder, according to statistics provided by the National Weather Commission, we can expect the rain to begin towards the end of June and the beginning of July, or at least that, that has been the case historically. On the other hand, weather specialists around the globe have forecasted that rain could arrive sooner due to El Nino and La Nina phenomenons. We could place bets on this, but I actually don't think we will see a sprinkle for another month. Now, that said, not everyone is so keen on the weather to start getting interesting. There are those living in the vicinity of the Pitillal River um, who hold unpleasant memories of how the past three rain seasons have contributed to the erosion of the riverbanks, placing their properties in danger. A group of folks living in Colonia San Esteban met with our interim mayor, um, Pepe Martinez, who made a commitment to them to address the situation and put preventive measures in place before the rain come, before the rain comes, and hopefully, as they do that, they will also take a look at. Um, this is, of course, Colonia San Esteban is upriver, closer to the mountains, and hopefully, while they're at it, maybe they will take a look at some of the sewage problems that they're having on the same river, but closer to the ocean. And of course, the National Weather Service continues to monitor a tropical formation evolving in the Pacific Ocean. Will it turn into the season's first hurricane? Maybe. But if it does, its path is too far away from Mexico to have any major impact on the weather. Now, I am aware of the fact that it is likely that the vast majority of viewers here at Coffee and Headlines are not registered to vote in Mexico. 
Still, and in case there are those in your personal universes that are, the National Electoral Institute has revealed the locations of the voting booths for the upcoming June 2nd election. And there is a website. You go to this website, you enter your state, and then you enter a location number that is imprinted on your voting card, and the system will give you the exact location of the voting booth where you are going to be able to vote. More often than not, these are located close to your home. I was happy to see that mine is located just like some six blocks away from here. So I'll be able to go and vote on June 2nd. Again, I know that this doesn't apply to many people watching, but if there are people in your life that are registered to vote, voting is very, very important. This is the most important electoral period that Mexico has had in its history. Due to the fact that all these elections come together at the same time, presidential elections, uh, state government elections, and municipal elections in many of our states. Now let's turn over to the weather just to see what is actually going on out there, at least according to our snarky weatherman who has to say, overclock my CPU, then buy me breakfast. It's sunny. Okay. Oh, but look at it. Humidity is low. It's only 52, only 52%. The temperature is 29 degrees right now, and it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, we're getting to that time of the year. Uh, 29 degrees, humidity at 52%. And our weather forecast says it's going to be humid with clear skies throughout the day. We can expect a high of 31 and a low of 20 today. Tomorrow, Friday, mostly cloudy skies in the morning with clear skies in the afternoon, a high of 31 and a low of 22. And uh, then Saturday will be a humid day with mostly clear skies, a high of 31 and a low of 21. And that is the weather for today. I do have something else that I want to share. And this is a shameless plug, of course. It gets to be that time of year in which those of us that don't have our own swimming pool are starting to get fidgety and start starting to knock on the door of friends that have a swimming pool. Or for some, the option is to pursue a day pass. If you, there are day passes or day places where you have enjoyed a day pass before, it would be fun to read that in your comments. For those of us that are looking for a place to stay refreshed, I have sweet friends that have a pool and I'm grateful to have the invitation. But what if you don't? Well, I'm going to make a shameless plug today because I love this place and you may not know about it. This is a post that I saw this morning that has some artsy images and this came from Hotel San Tropico and Hotel San Tropico has announced a day pass available from Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. at only 250 pesos per person. And this includes a towel for the pool. And you're probably wondering, Hotel San Tropico, where is that and why have I never heard of it before? Well, Hotel San Tropico is this cute, cute little boutique hotel located in the middle of Marina Vallarta. You cannot even get to it by public transportation. I mean, you can walk to it from the main road and from places where the bus will drop you off if you don't have a car. But I have loved this place ever since I heard about it. And this was a long time ago. Hotel San Tropico used to be, if I recall correctly, a, um, a private uh, residential community with apartments and stuff like that. Somehow it did not work as such. I don't know the details, but at some point the owners of the development decided to turn it into a small boutique hotel. Of course, all the units have are, are designed to be apartments, so all the units have kitchen and, and whatnot, but you can rent them for stay. And the beautiful thing about the property is that the owners are very health conscious. They have a yoga studio and uh, 
at the time I used to go or, or the, when I went the last time, they had a very healthy menu and a juice bar and so forth and so on. And the beautiful thing about it is that it has this gorgeous pool that you can enjoy. And, um, and it's very private because it's not a large hotel. I don't think many people know about it. So there you have it. That is a shameless plug. If you're looking to spend a day and be left alone and enjoy a little bit of pool, a little bit of healthy, some reading, um, and some shade. As you can see from these photographs, there are large canopies on top of the, the pool chairs. Um, Hotel San Tropico might just be the ticket for you. And at 250 pesos per person, that is nothing. Of course, you would be expected to pay for your beverages and your food, but um, it's something for you to consider. If anybody has been to Hotel San Tropico and wants to tell us about your experience, I would love to read it in the comments. And last, before we, before, blah, 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 before we turned on to your comments, a quick report on yesterday's spotlight, which was, um, it was what it was. Yesterday, we did not have any guests, which is a bummer, but it allowed me the opportunity to talk about my own projects and to also dispel the possibility of some people thinking, well, I don't know that I want to be interviewed in the spotlight because there might be a catch. So yesterday, and this was, this was a healthy comment, by the way, made by a dear friend who said, well, maybe people think there's a catch. So yesterday I leveled with you and I told you there is no catch. <laughs> so feel free to check it out. And of course, I also announced my upcoming four music appreciation presentations, which you can already learn something about if you're looking at the show notes, because they're already posted in the show notes as um, they have a permanent place in the show notes. Anyhow, you'll be hearing more about those as we get closer to them. The next one, of course, is my Bossa Nova presentation, which is coming a week from today. So I'll be talking about this a little bit more in the days to come. And as far as the spotlight, well, as I mentioned yesterday, it's not a project that makes me any money. So I'm just doing it for the love of it and for the love of creating connections. And I do hope that it will at some point become monetizable, but never from the organizers themselves. I could never see myself charge someone from the benefit of learning what they're up to. So maybe sponsorships, I don't know. But there you have it. The more you continue to talk about the spotlight, the more we will all be able to benefit from richer connections with event organizers in the city. And for those of you that have spoken about it or have shared information about it with your friends, I'm deeply, deeply grateful. And with that said, let us turn over to your own comments and uh, to find out what you guys are up to. Um, boom, 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 boom. Lots of good mornings, Mark. It's great to see you. I hope things are great in your neck of the woods. I noticed a comment you wrote later on about Hotel San Tropico, and I'm eager to get to that. But first, I see dear friends that are always here, David and Claudio and Karen. It is great to see you all. Uh, it really is. Good morning to all of you, and thank you for checking in with Coffee and Headlines. Um, Kathy is missing uh, Kathy, you miss your Villa Las Flores home? Well, get a ticket. Come back. <laughs> oh, dear. Lots of wonderful comments from all of you. Uh, we already showed this one, but Betsy, I'm dying to... Well, I'm not dying, but I'm eager to find out more about Hedwig. Again, I'm going to try to go to the final show with my friend Paul. If all goes well, that will be the case. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Pat, you would love this place, Hotel San Tropico. Again, if you Google it, you'll find that it is in the middle of nowhere. But of course, I will also leave their Facebook page in the post that I saw. Uh, and why did I bounce? I don't know why I bounce sometimes when I get excited. But I will leave all that information in the show notes um, for you to know. And here's that comment that I read from Mark earlier. Now I know where you live, Mark. <laughs> San Tropico is a wonderful place, good food and booze, 
and right across the street from me, so it's handy too. I wonder, I wonder if it's still under the same ownership because if I recall correctly, when I went and interviewed them, and this was over eight years ago, the owner lived in Mexico. He put his son in charge and his son was this very health conscious dude, younger, smart, and, and really personable. And <clears throat> I'm hoping that that is still the case. And let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh. Kathy says, planning to come back at the end of July for more dental work. I'll bring you coffee crisp. Well, I won't hold you. What is what is the expression? I, I won't hold you. No, not accountable. I, I will not expect it. It will be a pleasant surprise. And you know what I'm doing now, Kathy? I am trading gifts for crochet because I've been doing a lot of crochet and I have a surplus of, of giftable chingaderas around the house. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And Mark comments, yes, Paco, same owners. Well, the guy that was in charge was, he was handsome. Not for me, but he was, he was a nice, um, thank you. He was a nice looking dude. Thank you, Pat. That's exactly what I was looking for. Hold you to that. You guys are awesome when you teach me English. I very much appreciate it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, let's, oh, I missed this one from Sherry. My bad. You are a trooper. The spotlight may not have had any interviews, but you carried on and were informative and positive about the goings on. Thanks. Well, I'm going to level with you, Sherry. There, you know, I, you know, I have dark clouds above my head and sometimes those dark clouds manifest themselves with nasty thoughts. And they, I will, I will admit that sometimes, sometimes I say to myself, you know, Paco, you're doing all this work to promote people that are not taking advantage of it. Use your time and your efforts for something else. But no, I, I don't want it to be about that. I want it to be about you and what I can give you to connect with what's important to you. The day the viewers at Coffee and Headlines, meaning you, tell me, you know, Paco, we'd rather see you doing this instead of the spotlight, then that's when the spotlight is going to go south. Uh, but in the meantime, I think you want to know about what's going on in the city. I think you want to hear it from the horse's mouth. And that is the whole purpose behind the spotlight. And uh, as long as you don't slap me hard and tell me, Paco, just focus on something else, we're going to continue to give the project some love and hope that it will amount to something as time goes by. And this brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Wah, wah, wah. I have to go into town and take care of some errands today and go shopping for food for Luna. And, um, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping to do some uh, walking and some photographing of the Malecon to see if they're actually fixing it or not so that I can bring that information back to you tomorrow or the day after. So I hope you have an awesome day and I hope I can connect with you tomorrow morning as usual. And if not, sometime in the near future. Have a good one.